we are back today with the Wordle Hurdle Framed Wordle Weddle Hodl and the new added Quirtle Gauntlet. Uh, and I'm doing it today with CLD uh, just for the fun of it. Whatever. I don't need his help. Don't think that I do. Although we've never gotten, uh, I've never gotten Purtle. I think it's Purtle. P O E L T L. Purtle, Purtle, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I've never gotten it actually right before. Uh, but. Well, it's really hard. And also, on Weddle, they have a regular mode. Please shut up. And a hard mode. So we're going to do the regular mode and then try the hard mode. The regular mode is just, like, players, everybody would know it in the NFL. And the hard mode is just, like, literally the entire the entire roster, which will be very difficult. Uh, but uh, I actually had a comment yesterday that told me about that. So thank you. We appreciate you. Anyway, so Colin, how do you, what words do you always start with for Wordle? Mine is always chain and route. That way you get every single vowel out. Um, uh, so typically, this would indicate to me that um, that we have like an ST situation or. Uh, like an S at the end. So I think I'm going to put an S here. <coughs> um, we also only have one vowel unless Y is in there. Uh, it could be something like stays. Incorrect. Okay. A in the exact same spot. So that is absolutely fucking stupid. No S's. Um, and we don't have a Y. Um, let's see. Could be and also I should have noted this beforehand Colin has done this one out of uh, previously so I am doing this on my own sorry I am trying to focus uh, I guess there's a T so this won't work um, let's think about what words we could do here uh, I can't use R. <coughs> See, T is in here, T is in here. So, could T start a word? I got the other ones pretty quickly, so it's good to see there's one giving me some trouble. Uh... Let's try to just get stuff in, in uh, an area here. Okay, we got A right there. Um, t could it be T A? This T is not here, not here. Ten. Uh, it's really throwing me off that you can't do an E D here. Tank. Is there a way that we could get like a double A here? Uh, so your two first words you use are dares and what? stare like with your eyes i'm the big dumb does that mean you got it pettis i mean you are you calling colin big dumb because that'd be correct yeah i i mean i've only ever missed one um on the official wordle game um so that could mean that t does not start the word um yeah Mm. 
Okay. There we go. Great. We did it. It kind of just came together there. Um, okay, so the first one we have after Wordle is Hurdle, um, which this one, uh, Colin, I don't know if you played. It just plays one second or so of a song, and you have to guess what song it is. And then if you don't know it, then uh, you get another chance, right? It gives you more of the song. So. Yeah, it's like on... Uh, oh, I gotta put it here. I forget. Huh. Is it shaky? Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna skip because I have no idea. That's not helpful. It's just a person running. Burn It Down by Lincoln Park. Um, yeah, this is like... <laughs> I thought like Lizzo. I don't know. It's the Spice Girls. Uh, if you want to be my lover, right? I guess it's called Spice Up Your Life? What the fuck is the name of this song? I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. What the fuck is that? What's the name of that song? Uh, it's going to make me mad if we get it wrong. Eh. You know what? This is not cheating. I want it to go down in everyone's mind that this is not cheating. It's called Wannabe. Okay. I guess I should have, that would have been easy. Anyway, but I'm going to X out of this because I don't want to play any more of that song on my channel. Otherwise, <clears throat> Pettis knows that it's wannabe. I didn't think of it as one word. I guess I'm stupid. Um, okay, so we got uh, now framed. So this is one frame from a movie. Um, my first guess is my dog Skip when they're in that fucking... Uh, Okay, so obviously this is a movie from like the 20s or something, early 1900s. Oh, you know what this is? I think this is, oh, is this Oh Brother Where Art Thou? Sweet. I've only seen that movie once, but it's Oh Brother Where Art Thou. Let's look at the other pictures though. This would have been a really huge giveaway. Um, I think this is the one, this is the stuff that, uh, what's his name uses all the time? George Clooney. Yeah. Um, it's got it's a, ve a very memorable soundtrack. Um, it's the Coen Brothers. Um, I know a lot of people who love it. A lot of music going on in here. Um, what it actually is is it's a, a they're like nineteen hundreds uh, escapees from prison, but it's like set in that time. But it's actually the Odyssey, like um, Homer's the Odyssey. So like they fight. Uh, a one-eyed man, John Goodman. It's basically just what Odysseus goes through, but set in a different time period, um, which is a really weird way to go about that. But anyway, Wardle, uh, the MLB pl player guessing game. So um, <coughs> I don't know if you've ever played any of the um, uh, player guessing games, but I think it's the best to get someone who's middle age, like 27, middle age for baseball. Um, that way it, it gives you a lot of information and it lets you go like in between. So like if you were in basketball and you put, um, Pettis loves, Oh brother, where art thou? 
I'm going to need to get the uh, Pettis 10 movie recommendations um, so I can uh, run through them at some point. Um, anyway, uh, because I'm always looking to watch some shit. Um, I also got to do like a, t a TV series recommendation list, but I have only a couple right now. What's up? So let me let me show you. Let's say um, we're going to do who's a player like we could do um, Eddie Rosario, right? Okay, so we click Eddie Rosario. Now we know that they're in the NL East. They're right-handed or throw right-handed. They bat right-handed. They're not from Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta. Um, they're not from Puerto Rico, and they're about thirty, so twenty-nine or thirty-one. Um, but we know that they don't play left field. So now we know that they're in the NL East, right? Um, <clears throat> you get like 10. It's, it's a lot, I guess. It's. Um, so we assume they're right-handed and they're in the NL East, right? So that leaves us with... Uh, you can't hear Colin at all? That's really weird. Um, Well, I don't know what to do about that right now. Um, so you're just going to be a silent partner, I guess. But that is good information. We'll have to try to tweak that at some point. I uh, That's super weird. It, may, it must just be Discord. Well, it can't be. Because there was a... Um, I don't think so. Um, it shouldn't, but it's it's whatever. We'll 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 figure it out next time because I think I did some uh, smite videos on Discord and like Ashley's voice is over there. So anyway, let's just focus up on this. Um, so we have Miami, we have the Mets, um, uh, and we have who else is in the East? The Nationals. It's it's as of right now. Um, so I think we just pick an L East team and a right-handed bat that's not left field. Um. So if it's right field, who do we have? We have uh, Brandon Nimmo is left-handed, and he plays center field. Um, yes, he's left-handed. Um, so who is? I mean, like we could do um, like Pete Alonso wouldn't be a good guess here, uh, but we could do Lindor. Okay. Uh, so he's like probably like 29, but he's not a shortstop, still left-handed, does not play for the Mets. Um, so that leaves us with Miami, the Nationals. Um, I think there's one more team there that I'm missing, right? The Phillies, okay. Uh, so like Castellanos, uh, is he a left fielder or a right fielder? Uh, uh, Bryce, Bryce Harper is the right fielder, so he'd be left. Um, so... Um, Alec Baum wouldn't be in here. Um, Didier Gregorius is left-handed. Uh, Gene Segura is probably a little bit old here. Left-handed. Um, we're looking for a right-handed bat here, Colin. You're supposed to be helpful. I, sh I guess I should be dictating. He said Schwarber. Um, uh, so let's, uh, let's do Segura here. Okay, so NL East, right, right. He's a little bit too old, not second base. So now we just have Miami Nationals. Okay, right-handed. What about, like, uh... yeah, Miami. Um, Solaire uh, kind of meets this criterion. Too old. Uh, okay, oh, wait. Oh, they still have him with Miami. Or, I'm sorry, Atlanta. That's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, kind of a wasted guess because I don't know if it's Miami now. Um, I wonder... Okay, so... I, I learned today that Eddie Rosario and Francisco Lindor are both Puerto Rican. So that's cool. It's not right field. I actually think he's right-handed. Um, but we know that it can't be a right and left fielder now. So it has to be first base, third base, catcher, pitcher, center field. Um, so who plays center field for the Marlins? Uh, 
third baseman outfielder. Um, although Jesus Aguilar could be. Miami, okay. He's too old, though. So we need a right-handed bat that's third base or... Yeah. Here's Brian Anderson. So you actually, you, you technically got it, although you thought he was at first base. So I don't know how to handle that. But good job. Um, we're on to Weddle. Okay, so we're first, like I was explaining, there is a hard mode, but you have to beat easy mode before you can do hard mode. So once again, we want to do a player that's uh, kind of middle of the road age-wise. <coughs> um, say, Odell Beckham Jr., right? Um, so he's taller than 5'11". Um, he's not, yeah, and he's not in the NFC or in the West Division, and he doesn't play wide receiver, right? So if we assume he's taller, um, then we're talking about linemen. Let's, okay, that was a, uh, they have Paris Campbell. So this must be part of easy mode because they won't let me do Kalias. Um, so, uh, yeah, it could be a tight end, it could be a lineman, it could be a quarterback. Um, so let's, let's do like, I'm going to do Lamar Jackson. Okay, so it's either in the AFC or North, and he's between, um, 5'11", 6'2". So we guess like 6, 6'1", and he's about 28, 27". Um, uh, and not a quarterback so it could be a running back I guess <clears throat> remember that this uh, it could be a corner safety sure yeah that would be uh, a good way to approach it going for the NFC North sure I'm, I'm for it <clears throat> He's a running back. Mark Gummy's too short. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So he's an AFC running back. Um, that would be about 27 years old. Do we think that uh, McCaffrey is like that? He's in the NFC too. Um, <clears throat> uh, it is not AFC North, but it is AFC. <clears throat> So, AFC, <clears throat> let's go through some running backs here. AFC South, um, you have JT, too young. Um, Jaguars, you have um, Robinson, too young. That would be AFC West. Uh, you're kind of just throwing off my groove here. I think he's a, I think he's a little bit older than that, uh, Gordon. Um <clears throat> AFC, so what was, I did Indianapolis, I did Jacksonville, so that leaves us with Houston. Uh, who was their running back this year? They had like six. David, Burkhead? I don't even want to touch Houston. So what's the, uh, what's the last AFC South team here? Uh, Tennessee. Um, do we, th I, I would think so. Um, okay, so AFC South side of it, so we have West and East. So we have the Browns, which is Chubby. Chubby's too young. It could... Okay. Um, it'll narrow it down, anyway. So it is the West, and his number is below 25. He is the exact right height, though, so and age, so good on that. Um, so we have <coughs> the, the Chiefs, the Chargers and the Raiders. The Raiders is Jacobs. He's too young. Who Who is the lead back with the Chargers this year? Oh, is it Eck? Eckler's too short. Um, so, Marlon Mack was still with Indianapolis, I think. Um, it's not just, it's not just, I don't think so. It's not Javante Williams, but Chargers had like Roundtree, who was a rookie, um, 
let's let's do let's do this um we can kind of narrow down the team they're on um how do you spell austin Eckler? how do i spell his name wrong e okay okay so he's not with the chargers he's not with denver so it's the chiefs um or the raiders uh okay, so what's his no 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 i was thinking um what's his name who was with the uh Drake? Kenyon Drake? Yeah. Well, apparently he is, because it was Kenyon's Drake. All right. Um, hard mode. Play now. Okay, this is going to be tough, because we didn't do very well on that to start with. Um, I'm going to do AJ Green. Um, he's just shorter than six foot four, and he's in the NFC, it looks like. Uh, Michael, I don't know what Chiefs was supposed to tell us, but like running back for the Chiefs, um, it was uh, who we thought it was. Can you drink? We're no. Well, you're forgettable, so I understand. Um, so the NFC, and it's shorter than. So we're probably thinking like a quarterback, right? In the NFC. Okay, let's do that. Blah, 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 blah. Wilson. Why is Russell not the first one? It might be alphabetical. Uh, of course, that's updated. Um, so he's in the AFC now. So you fucked me. And I didn't even think. Yeah, uh, I think that when that does that, though, it just means NFC. And it's just the wrong division. Um, I thought it was NFC and West, but I was wrong about that. Um, so it's in the NFC, but not in the West. So NFC North. Yeah, and he's not even close to 33, right? Ugh. Okay, NFC North, six foot three, but he's not a quarterback. We should have known he wasn't a quarterback from here. Um, and he's not a wide receiver, so um, this could be lineman? He's older than 23. I mean, six foot three is pretty tall. Um,. He's too young. I was thinking like Jair Alexander, but he's too young. I don't think he's that tall. Sometimes you get those tall corners. I think... Pe I don't know. Um, so we're thinking... It's like probably like 27, 28 would be my guess in terms of age. Um, so, and, and we've limited it now to the Packers, the Lions... And Minnesota. Um, um, I know Xavier Rhodes is tall. Uh, linebackers aren't always really that tall. Um, what if it was like... Uh, what's the linebacker's name from UCLA with uh, Minnesota who broke Aaron Rodgers' collarbone? Yeah, there you go. So he's a God. He is tall, six foot five. Um, I don't know, but he's an outside linebacker, six foot four. Uh, uh, I guess it's a linebacker. That's kind of weird how they did that. So it could be middle linebacker. Um, so that. You guys have Danny Trevathan? Oh, that's true. Um, that's tough. Uh, they're both outside linebackers, yeah. Um, I'm totally drawing a blank on who our starting middle linebacker is. <laughs> that's tough. Oh, uh, Devondre Campbell. There's Goliath. So, well, Devondre Campbell is not an outside linebacker. Oh, okay, no, he could be a safety, I see. Uh, he could be anything other than... I guess this just means he's on defense. Um, uh, 
Yeah. Uh. Devontae K. Rashawn Gary is pretty young, and he's also a linebacker. I'm guessing it's it's got to be a defensive lineman, right? Um. They don't have. Uh, we have those two shitty white defensive linemen. Um. His number is above 59, too. So you would imagine he's a down lineman or a linebacker. Well, if, if it's above 59, it's almost certainly a lineman. Um, I'm trying to think. What's our, uh, what's our big guy in the middle's name? Oh, he gave a huge contract. He also went to US, UCLA and is, um, he was drafted at like 19. The fuck is his name? Uh, Troutman. Um, I'm just going to start putting in Packer players. Not a safety. Uh, uh it wouldn't even Okay, so it's not a corner, it's not a safety, so it has to be the defensive tackle. I just can't remember his name. And it's higher than 91, the number. Julius Peppers. Well, he is over, that is true. What is the name of our defensive tackle? What's his fucking name, Colin? Ndamukin Sue? Uh, um, this is going to drive me crazy. I always, I always forget his name too, even though I know exactly who he is. Uh, are we going to take an L on this? Because I know exactly who it is. Damn it. Um, an L is coming to mind for some reason. That doesn't really. Um, he's really good, so I don't know why I can't remember his name. L. PQ I didn't know they are very tall. Holy shit. Um, I don't know. Um, unless I look it up, I'm not going to remember it. So, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Kenny Clark. God damn it. It's exactly who I thought it was. <sighs> okay. From that to something even worse, Potal, because I don't think we'll get this right. They do not pull punches on this shit. I swear to God. Let's start with Kemba Walker. 
Oh, that was a good guess. So it's a guard in the East in the Atlantic Division, above six foot, and his number is above. Numbers will not help. Um, so um, Atlantic Division would be like um, Washington and shit, uh, because there's like a there's another division that has Florida and Miami in it, I believe. So uh, this is probably Boston too. So Boston guard like Jalen Brown. Okay, does not play for Boston. So um, Bradley Beal. Okay. Okay. So what's another team in the uh, Washington's in the Southeast? I apologize. So who else is in the Atlantic Division over there? Um, probably uh, Brooklyn. So that gives us um, oh, uh, yeah. Oh well, it's a guard. So it's six foot three, six foot three guard. Um. From uh, Brooklyn. Who else do they have on that roster? And also, this one gives you a silhouette. Does that help you at all? It doesn't help me at all. Um, <laughs> and well, it's Ben Sims like 6'8", or what does it say? 6'11". God damn. Um, Spencer Dinwiddie's with Dallas now. Um... This is why it's so hard. They give you these bench players that uh, I probably have never heard of. Like, in in all real re realism, I should get the the other ones. I shouldn't suck this bad. But um, his number is below eleven. Uh, he, but he's old. He's older than thirty one. Like, who does that give us? Yeah. Do they got a guy who's just like a hooper shooter guy? It's like six foot three. That's old. Because like, why would you stick around at that point? There's no way he's like a, a slasher. Or... Um, who be getting PT over there? I probably couldn't even name their starting lineup to be honest. I need to brush up on my NBA players, I think. Um, but th this guy's been around a really long time. 31? Right, that's what I'm saying. Older than 31. Um, do they have, like, Patrick Beverly? I don't think so. He's, like, with Houston or some shit. Um... Somebody named Smith, J Ish Smith. I think it. I think Ish Smith used to play with the Knicks like a hundred years ago. Yeah, this is I think the hardest one. Uh, yeah, I played them all the time. Duke. Okay. No. Uh, obviously, they got KD. We already went over Kyrie and Ben Simmons. Um, <laughs> he's not a guard. Well, and because you started your career when you did, um, it had that roster. Yeah. Do we know? Uh, hmm. Who came over? Who came over from Philadelphia? Oh, Ben Simmons. But but there had to be. He can't. He's not old enough, right? Yeah, he's there. Um, who would have a low number, like a three or a seven or something? I don't know. I ain't got this. 
I'm just going to put somebody in because I don't want to think anymore. Lou Williams. He's old. Oh, we still get another guess. Uh, he's 35? He's the, Lou Williams just retired. Who is this? They got Vince Carter on their team? I think Tony Parker's a little bit older than 35. He's got to be in his 40s. He's been retired for a while. Right, and it's notable, like like a Kyle Korver, like Redick. Uh, that's what I was thinking, like that kind of mode where he's just a hooper. But um, they're both retired, I believe. Thirty-five at six foot three. Who the hell is that? I mean, he's a guard. Six three is relatively short. I mean, Kyrie's not like you don't think. Hey, that guy's tall. Um, He's got to be around either for defense or shooting. And that's it. That's why he's still playing. Um, I'm going to put Patrick Beverly in. That's going to be the end of it for me. Even though it's he's not even there. Goran Dragic. Didn't know Goran Dragic was there. I know that name, though. Uh, played with... Uh, yeah, and I think the Suns before that. Um, and he's not really a great shooter. He's really a good ball handler. I don't know about his defense. Okay, we're on to Quirtle. Um, so I'm going to start with your starter, Stare, here. Okay, so we, we have something over here. We have an R and we have an A. So, um, what do we, what do we want to play next, I guess, is the question. So we have A and E. That still puts A there. Um, hmm. This is somewhat overwhelming. Uh, I think you just got to focus on this top right one since we have a letter correct. Um, I, I, I feel like the A is going to be in the second spot. It could be like Perry. That ain't it. Uh, there is a Y here, though. Um, I would think I would think so. Um, it does not have an E. Okay. R is not here. R is not here. That's, don't do that. Um, a, a wire. It could be a uh, something. You gotta go with this with like a whole different like approach. That is for sure a word. Okay, that's good. A is what starts it. We now have two letters here too. Um, this one we have two letters and R has to go like over here. I was thinking, oh, is it no T? So. Cr yeah. 
Crody? Croxy? Crozy? Crony? Are they saying that's not a word? Okay. Crowy. Could it be groggy? No. Croaky? Um, uh, this one might be, this one might be a Dorn. It's not a Dorn. Acorn. Okay, so you basically have what one extra guess because we have to get um so we know kinda uh horny Brony? It's going to be O N Y, right? Shmoni? Sh Yeah. It could be Ori too. O R. Oh no, it's not going to be that way. Uh. Gropy. Grony. Is groany a word? No, it's not a word. Groany. Oh, Lord. Croxy. And we got basically jack shit with the other one, so that's... Tough. Uh, did I what? Okay, we're literally missing one letter. I think it's got to be R O N Y. I don't see any other way it could be. So our ether has to start it, which le leads me to believe there'd have to be another vowel. Uh, could it, uh, oh, Rumi? Rumi? No, there's no N. Yeah. Rooney? I'm doing brony. Let's see if it takes it. Brony's not a word. Um, it's 
it's I, I it can't be O and Y is what it's come down to, I guess. Um Rooney. What this? Uh, yeah, this is fucking hard. Uh. Is could it be R O? This is no word I've ever heard of, which makes this not easy. Um. I'd like to pivot to a different one, but we, there's just, we literally can't. The one on the bottom right, maybe? Well, uh, it could help us if we get a word in there that gets us some letters that'll help us in the other one, right? Um, Uh huh. But it can eliminate letters, right? Um, we have three letters in it already. What about if we put on that one T O X I N? Uh, it can't be that because N can't go here. But I thought toxin might be good, but you can't do toxic. Yeah, that's, yeah I, said, I said that. Um, do it in X would be Liddy. Uh, yeah, this one's fucked. I don't know what's going on over there. Another thing that I would think would be here would be an E, but you can't, there's no E. Uh, could, the, could it be a YW? No, because it has the RN has to go somewhere. That's too many letters. I'm trying to just visualize it here. Um. Irony.
Yeah. Dear Lord, we just weren't thinking vowels. Um, and it gave us an I for over here, too, and in the N where it should go. Um, so we have T, I, and O. Um, yeah, but if we get this one right, then we have two more additional guesses, which I think is helpful. Um, T, I, O, N. So we're missing one letter, right? Um, Do we think it starts with one of these letters? Yeah. Yeah. How could we not have like any letters in the top left? There has to be a U in the top left for sure, because there's no other vowels. Um, joint is good. Uh, sweet. We got nothing. Yeah, we got nothing up in the top left yet. Um, there's definitely a U, though, for sure. So W, G, K, B. What about brush? There you go. That was the easiest one to get. And uh, <laughs> we had the least there. Uh, we got acorn and five, brush and eight. All right. Well, that is the end of the gauntlet. And with the additional stuff, that was actually a gauntlet. That was a lot of shit. We did not do well on... The hard mode and Weddle, we didn't do well in Potal, which I know Goran Dragic, I should have gotten that right. Um, we got framed easily. Hurdle, technically, we didn't do right, uh, well on. It's only because I didn't know the name of the song. Um, but overall, uh, okay, I guess. Uh, we're going to be doing, well, I'll be doing this again tomorrow. Um, I don't know if I'll do all of these because it's fucking exhausting for one person to do. Uh, but maybe, we'll see. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe, all that jazz. This, this uh, series has been doing rather well, so I'm going to keep up with it. All right, deuces.